The principal of the college, Sani Zelani, commended the effort of the state government towards the reformation exercise of various schools in the state, and he also appreciated the stakeholders' donation of laboratory equipment. He says it will help foster learning in the school. Prov provision of textbooks, uniforms, seats, provision of block of classes, and most of all, converting this college to a boarding house and recruitment of science teachers as well. This indeed a lot of efforts to promote and develop education in the state. Representative of the donors, Nigel Kokogam, who speaks on the necessity of the donation, says it is to help improve learning at various levels in the school. What we look at is trying to make impact in the areas of education, health and capacity building. So for us, it's not just about getting making donations, it's about really making a change that will be sustainable. And so we, 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 we wanted to do something in Kaduna. Last year we did a school in Nasrawa, and we wanted to do something in Kaduna, so we commissioned the NGO to look at three schools that we know are notable in Kaduna. And find Deputy Director of School, Ministry of Education, Aliu Idris, urged teachers to make proper utilization of the equipment. To the teachers and the students, it's a challenge. This is a legacy. And we must do everything possible to maintain this place so that others that are yet to come will come here and benefit from this legacy. He also advised students to continue to strive towards achieving their educational goals as it is the key to better tomorrow. Elizabeth Oshino, Liberty News.